This is a video that attorney Crump posted right here in Jacksonville, Florida. I don't know who's done it. This is my it's a little, here today. It's a little neon think. green pistol. It's probably hers. It's, she's probably allowed to have it. My sister's always walked the straight and narrow. She's always done everything by the book. Yeah, she, she doesn't have a record. At all. Yeah. At all. That's why we're wondering Baby why she acted speed. out like this. Baby don't need to speed. I'm trying to tell y'all. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm over here pissed off because I'm the one that usually goes to jail. You know, I'm, I'm the one that's I am that's so mad. Because right, right. I've literally been okay with JSO living in this city. And the camera, the video footage shows her doing nothing wrong with them attacking her. Nothing. She did nothing. And it's just all lies. And all you're going to hear are their lies being debunked by the truth of their own footage. I mean, you just don't have no huh? respect for them no more. I know huh? I don't. Huh? She kicked me when I was inside. Go somewhere. Unless you want to be a witness to it. You don't understand. I know you Unless don't. you want to be a witness to it. If you continue to not want to help they us, are a witness then to we'll it. just put all that down too. Come on, brother. We'll go in there with so you. So what does that mean? It's like he was threatening him. Wow. Right here in my own city, though. Time. Nothing exactly, is going to and, it's, to you. and it's being debunked by your recording. Everything y'all keep saying is a lie. So, this is all backed up over here. It's a two three three one on here. Is that what it, what you need, or you need the tag number? No, I just need the number that's on the side. Two three three one. So I I backed into the driveway right here and started reading emails. So I'm about to post the, house, the full video. It's a little, here it's a little neon green pistol. It's probably hers. It's, she's probably allowed to have it. My sister's always walked the straight and narrow. She's always done everything by the book. Yeah, she's she doesn't have a record. At all. Yeah. At all. That's why we're wondering Baby why she acted speed. out like this. Baby don't even speed. I'm trying to tell y'all. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm over here pissed off because I'm the one that usually goes to jail. You know, I'm the, I'm the one that's usually in custody. Yeah. I'm the one that's like, oh, shit. Right, right, that's right. That's me. But yeah. She's not like that. So I'm trying to figure out what the fuck y'all did to her. I, I, so we just can't go into your home. We can't go into your home without a warrant. But we, we can't go into your home without a warrant. Yes. Y'all beat her and knock her teeth out? No, ma'am. So, we, that on the door. So, I walk up to her, she runs from me, she slaps her fucking face in the door. But she's like, Y'all beat her and knock Is that her gun or is it yours? I have no I don't even live here. Oh, maybe we, she did that on the door. In. Ah! in. Get in. Kick somebody else again. Huh? 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 She kicked me when I was inside. Go somewhere. Unless you want to be a witness to it. You don't understand. And no, you don't. And if you don't want to, con if you continue to not want to help us, then we'll just put all that down too. Come on, brother. We'll go in there with you. Okay. I mean, bruh, I don't, I just can't, I just wait till some more people get here. I don't want to go in there with y'all, if you don't mind. I'm sorry. 
Brother, th we, this has all been recorded the entire time. Nothing is going to happen to you. No, you didn't throw me on ground, but you have to understand I'm scared. I'm just So, this was all backed up over here. It's a two three three one on here. Is that what it, what you need, or you need the tag number? So I just need the number to call the Two three three one. So I, pull, I backed into the driveway right here and started reading emails. So she comes out of the house, knocks on the on my window. It says, "Sir, why not? I'm out of the roadway." And there's and there's, there's, and there's the only reason why I sat here is because all this shit was backed up because of the crash. Or you need the tag number. So I just need the number to call the fire. Two, three, three, one. The only reason why I sat here is because all this shit was backed up because of the crash. Yeah, but why? why just reading emails. But why does it have to be in our you're, you're This guy was sitting right here the whole here. time. Yeah. Have you been out here for a hot minute? Just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. Did you see the young lady throw that uh, object to the officer? While he was sitting there in his car? No, I did Okay. All right. All these people were across the street the whole time. Yeah. Which one do you find general was out here the whole time listening to this nonsense? How's it going? Huh? How's it going? What's going on, Hey. We're going to ignore all the drinking and stuff going on over here. I just need to, I need to know who was, who was observing and listening to this mess over here. Uh-uh. I just Huh? But I know the three of y'all been in here, been over here the whole time. Huh? We were talking and we were paying attention to what was going on. Oh, you weren't listening to her yelling and carrying on over there. I heard her hollering when I yelled over there, but I don't know what was going on. Problem is 5435, 3647. Get those drinks and clear out. So I, pull, I backed into the driveway right here and started reading emails. It says, you park here, sir, huh? Hey. Why did you park here? Why not? No, no I, just, I just backed in here to look at some emails. No! No. Now that was, um, <laughs> that was oh, I just, I just backed in here to look at some emails. I got out of the car and he was out here the whole time. Just be sure write your narrative, and I, there's no real example on it, I did not activate my camera immediately because I was not anticipating citizen reaction, right. I pulled over here real quick after completing the call, but I mean if you're going to do that stuff and, and carry on like that, then you get it, but, I mean if you're going to do that stuff and, and carry on like that, then you get it. It's not illegal to have a firearm, but what I, mean, I mean, but when you call Police to threaten the police. Call the police. Now how that sound? You call the police. She to called the police. Ma'am, look at me. Line. She didn't have it in her hand. She She's did. so little. She did. She's so right little. You never look good Ma'am, like she did have the firearm in her hand. If she would have touched it, she'd be dead right now. Ma'am, like she did have the firearm in her hand. If she would have touched it, she'd be dead right now. Ma'am, like she did have the firearm in her hand. Ma'am, she did have the firearm in her hand. If she would have touched it, she'd be dead right now. So he tried to to take her into custody, she ran back here and there was a gun right where homeboy is standing. Right where homeboy is standing. Right where homeboy is standing. The reason why she's not alive is because she didn't reach for it when we were there. Oh my God, so what, so what you're saying is she's not supposed to have her gun in her house? If she's reaching for a gun in an argument with an but officer. she didn't though, right? The reason why she's not alive is because she didn't reach for it. It was an but officer. She didn't, though, right? And she throws a spoon with some sort of liquid on it. It's on him. a spoon. With a liquid on it. Sir, that we, don't we, sound like Britain. Just be sure when you write your narrative, I did not activate my camera immediately. Okay, well, we have the spoon. And, and we have the liquid. On. Hey, what ma'am, kind of ma'am, right here. And here's the thing. The, the reality. Can I see what's on it? No, don't touch it. Don't touch it, okay? But what, what, what's what on it? it? What's on it? I don't know. We don't know. Is it a drug? No. A poison? Not, she's not that type of child. Okay. What's on it? I don't know. We don't know. Is it a drug? Uh, it was obvious her face stuff, but what's on it? I don't know. Uh, it was obvious her face stuff, but we don't know. Is it a drug? Uh, it was obvious her face stuff, but I mean, if you're gonna do that stuff and and carry on like that, then you get it.
get it. So she was fighting y'all? What, Correct. What, what happened to why she had to feel like she had to fight somebody? What happened why she felt like she had to fight somebody? I was the one, was the one that she threw this at. What did she throw at? A spoon? With whatever substance this is on it, ma'am. This is what happened. Your sister came up to my car, asked if I needed any help. She came up to my car and started throwing mm -hmm. and threatening me. Your sister came up to my car, asked if I needed any help. I explained to her that I didn't, that I would be done very shortly. She said, I want you out of my driveway. And I said, ma'am, I'll be done in just so a couple minutes. Parked? Right there. So you were parked in our driveway? In the okay. driveway, yes, ma'am. All right, go ahead. What happened? So I explained to your sister that I'd be leaving in, in a couple seconds. She said, I want you out of my driveway now. And threw this spoon at me that hit me in the forearm with whatever green substance it was on. Were you in the car? Or I was you know, inside my car. And she threw in the spoon, made it in the car? Yes, through the window that I'd opened to talk to her. With the substance on it? Yes. Okay. Were you in the car? I was inside my car. And she threw in the spoon, made it in the car? Yes, through the window that I'd opened to talk to her. With the substance on it? Yes. Okay. No, he just started yelling at me. I asked, I said, hi, officer, can I help you? And he started yelling at me, talking about leave him alone. This is, He can be here if he wants to. I better leave him alone, yelling at the top of his lungs. Like, what is his problem? I'm asking him, what is he here for? I said, this is my yard. He said, this is a driveway. I said, this is my driveway. Why are you here? He started yelling. Brother, this is a public access driveway. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. Past all that, because honestly, he tried to give me some whatever about this being public property, property and it's not. This this yeah. whole, all of this concrete is ours. Yeah. So if she asked him to leave and he started arguing with her, I saw a video um, of what happened while she was saying, I asked him to leave and he's smirking and they yelling at me and what the kind of authority did they? And then all of a sudden she's yanked off to, to the fucking driveway and she's getting fucking beat up. Quick for safety? Pull it. I mean, an empty parking lot. Yeah. This not empty. This is something about a park that she owns. But there, there's, there's she no owns. car. It is shocking. She, she called the police. You're not police listening to me. I'm Man, listening to you is because just so, much, so much stuff happening with the police now. What that stuff? What, she, what stuff's happening? I'm talking, happening? I ain't seen what you are. No, but what but I'm talking about a lot of stuff happening with the police doing stuff. They're killing people. They're like, that is your man. They killed just recently. No, all, black people are calling the police hey, each and every day. Sir, what people is, still, even though they call them, but a lot of them is still oh, afraid of y'all. I have. Because I don't met some officers that's really. Nasty. I don't know if you're actually and keeping I up have, with the news or anything. No, so but I keep up with the news, but not only that. Have, have you but seen? I've had experience with an officer myself. Okay, well, you brought I up an nice, issue I wanted to bring up to you. And I was calm, but he was rude and nasty, and, and you know, irritable. you know, people, people and, and can get like that. Me all kind of ways. Okay. So I'm saying. So she saw a police officer sitting here. She talked to him. He said he was just reading okay. emails, and that gave her the mindset of. Well, no. I'm terrified. I need to throw something at them and go no, get a gun? No, sir. No, sir. What actually happened was um, they had some type of argument. He got very loud with her. I don't know what he said, but I heard him yelling at her. Right. He just speaks loud normally. He's just a loud person. Okay. I understand that. Well, I was inside. And okay. I heard, I'm just telling you my, what I heard. I appreciate okay. that. Okay. So keep going. I was inside, and I heard him yelling from outside. She was on the recording line, calling the recording line on purpose, letting them know I feel very fearful for my life. I feel very threatened. Uh, the cop was here. I didn't do anything to him, and he started yelling at me. And so I'm feeling very fearful, and that's why. That okay. It was a. It was a. It was. You okay. know, she was. It was a. Call why does for help. Why does she fear the police so much? Well, like I said before, sir, with everything that's going on. What's the, going on? A lot of police are killing like black people. <clears throat> Were you born here in Jacksonville? What? Okay. Were you born? You, you don't want to talk anymore. You're refusing to cooperate. Okay. Mm -hmm. You
back here attacking me. If a bug got in the car, then you'll be out shortly. Wow, so the video with that um, attorney Crump posted in regards to JSO, Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, right in my my city, um, about Brittany Krishan, them parking on her property and she's asking them to leave and them getting upset. That could literally have been me. Hell, that could be me one day. Because what if they parked in front, they come out here all the time for my neighbor, okay? Or someone, and they'll literally, like sometimes they'll park on the side or they'll park in the cul-de-sac. What if they park and blocking me and I need to get out? What if they park and I got people coming over? To them, to police officers, because they have a badge and who they are, their egos become so bruised when we don't give them the satisfaction and respect that they believe that they should have from us automatically off rip regardless of where we are at today and in this video you're going to keep seeing them saying and and what's happening today what what is going on you know damn well what is going in going on they are condescending just oh my god just looking listening to them and and then they're literally talking about black women's private parts in this video and they still got this woman for what the video footage clearly shows that she's innocent but these are officers who believe that they're above the law the system is think they're above the law you know what i'm saying so it's like crazy that this could literally happen i've been in positions with law when i was the victim and even when I wasn't, um, and I can, I know how angry they are. It seems like they're just frustrated, very aggressive, and it could be for something simple. For myself, I went into a police department to get a police report because I had just been robbed. I got all my shit taken away from me, and I didn't have to, why would I, I just moved into this place I didn't have time to get everything changed over, such as my driver's license, etc. So when I handed him my driver's license and I was telling him where I was renting versus where I used to live for years, he literally just discounted the fact that I was, I'm a victim of being robbed and having somebody in my home with my, with my daughter. Cause at the time she was like, um, elementary age and he made me feel like I was a criminal because I didn't have my driver's license updated with the new address that I'm renting from, which I stopped renting within that same week and moved out. So that would have been redundant for me to even do that. But the mentality that they have, and I just, I haven't had that much respect for them, but I've literally thought that JSO was above all of this because I haven't seen them in the news like you see other um, law enforcement agencies, but clearly, no, okay? So because evidently the lies, the lies, the thought that they are above the law and the fact that they constantly just get away with doing anything, it's your word against theirs. And the fact that they are going after this woman who doesn't have a criminal record, who was on her own property, and they're trying to charge her with something to get for 10 years because of their ego and because they don't want to retract the bullshit of what they've done. And just hearing them talk about the stuff that they're talking about on the video, and they still haven't reversed this at all, means a whole lot to the world on how the law enforcement agencies really need to be defunded. They really need to be revamped. And when I say defunded, because you got so many people saying that, I don't even care about being defunded. You can say refunded into certain areas, but not when you have law enforcement agencies with people in their organizations who are okay to lie, who are okay to put criminal charges on someone and that they know is false. That's mentally insane to me. These are criminals. Okay, first of all, the police departments are the ones that have the most criminals in their system. These are the people that are the majority highest crime rate as far as domestic abusers. Okay, so when we are looking at these people, we're expecting them to be above the law. And you got the citizens. And of course, this is the Trump era people. You got people who can look at the shit that they do and still defend them. You got people who are literally laughing at stuff that the police officers are doing and people are trying to bring awareness to. And it's, 
you're looking at like, oh my God, I can't believe that happened. And you get other people who are literally reacting to the story and with laughing emojis. This is the era that we're living in, people. And it's sad. This is crazy. And we're so-called in America, but we're also in America, whereas you got people per on parlor who's defending white supremacy and calling it patriotism. That's the area that we're living in. Screw defunding and refunding. Revamp these law enforcement agencies. Police officers like this who are caught on camera lying and one of the officers are literally telling the other officer how to write it up so that way he can get away with the shit. These officers need to be put out, period. Clean up your law enforcement agencies or get defunded or get refunded for something else. It's a crime that we have police officers who aren't upholding the law because they are liars. They're cheaters. They're criminals themselves. The worst gang in America, in the world, are law enforcement agencies.